What's up, people? Positive Paul here on Monday, October 18th, 2021. And I'll make a rare departure from my normal delivery concerning some of the subject matter on this presentation. Hey, we try to remain calm, cool, and collected, right, folks? But we know at this point social media and the internet is flooded with disinformation. I'll use YouTube as an example. And the example is would be the so-called targeted individual community, which at this point we know is, is a farce. I've always claimed that it's one aspect of the damage control program concerning satanic ritual abuse. But you see this phenomenon that I, I really can't pin it down, but I'll say going back to around, say, 2009, you start to see certain individuals give birth to this notion that there's a mysterious government program of the likes of MK Ultra. And you have these government agents, and, and, you know, at this point, they could just about come from anywhere. Who knows? You know, home within the Homeland Security apparatus, we know the, about the fusion centers. But you have these individuals claiming that, uh, you know, they're being attacked with directed energy. They're being followed around. Mind games are, are being played on them, gaslighting techniques. Uh, we've heard it all. Now, YouTube, they understood by allowing this platform to be created under the guise of sharing information, being allowed to connect with people, communicate with individuals you wouldn't normally be able to physically get together with. And that in itself is a, a definitely a wonderful thing. Maybe, you know, if you're in the United States, you can uh, communicate with someone over in Europe, Australia, vice versa. But they, they knew also that this was going to be used as a mouthpiece to complain. And it could be, uh, there's a whole host of issues out there to complain about in a modern world. But what they understood was, is some of the more uh, nefarious, sinister activities that, that go on within the conspiracy theory realm, they were going to need to deal with these individuals who I, I believe some of them were well-intentioned. But others were trained disinfo agents from the get-go. And what they would do is once, uh, uh, let's just say, a well-intentioned individual or a victim of, of who, folks? Can we call them Satanist? Can we call them creepy chameleon Canaanites? I know a lot of you people complain about the Freemasons, but we understand... The lower rung of Freemasonry, people don't understand what these individuals are doing at the top. So the point is, YouTube, like Facebook, and now, you know, the whole shebang, they need a way of having a counter message, or at least to try to muddy the waters, confuse people, mislead people, and... I think they did a wonderful job because let's, let's go back to this so-called targeted individual community. Now, I admit it from the get-go, I'm a Johnny-come-lately, but how, 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 do, how did I find myself in this situation? And this, this is what drove me crazy now for the past five, five years. I'm in my sixth year now dealing with this head-on. It's these vague testimonies. Nothing, if you watch some of these individuals enough, nothing adds up. They can't even come up with a shred of evidence, not even who they are, let alone show their face or give their real name. 
Now, let's say no matter who is giving you a hard time, right? Because we know in a, in a world we can upset somebody, we can upset their neighbor, and who knows? They might start, you know, causing mischief. But the reality is that, yes, there, there are a group of individuals that, uh, let's just say they're up to no good. And within this targeted individual community, I tried to seek out individuals that were in the same situation as me, trying to keep an open mind, listening to, to these, these individuals. But again, I was coming up empty-handed. Now, my particular situation a 55-year-old MK Ultra survivor put through satanic ritual abuse and I had these implants. Now, from the get-go, I explained the who, the what, the why, the when, and the where. If anybody that dares dip their toe into this MK Ultra business and They've heard my story and try to tell me that yeah, this this is no way this couldn't have happened. Well, here's the way it works. Back in 2012, I discovered my great grandfather's brother, older brother that is, was a high-ranking Satanist within this so-called Illuminati, and my family history was hidden from me. The family came from Bavaria, Germany back in 1868. We know what was going on back then. Uh, uh, many Germans fled to the United States. But more importantly, this, this particular individual, Carl Henry Lindner, he somehow rose to the top. Now, I'm connected to the Merovingian bloodline. At the time of my birth, my dad's godfather was the vice president, Hubert Humphreys. I was born in Washington, D.C. Now, just on that alone, and knowing what, what, what MKUltra was about, what they were looking for, who they were looking for, to say someone in my, my situation... That, oh, they just, they just let me go about my business? No, that wasn't the case. I have missing time. My missing time is from essentially uh, 1968, where I see a picture. I have a picture of myself in 1972. But there was no childhood. It was this trauma-based mind control crap. Now, just to, to make sure we understand of how did I get through that? There, well, there's no individual. The children of men didn't help me. So I can only uh, uh, um, surmise that there is a powerful spiritual being that that is there. And look, they cannot wipe us all out, meaning humans. Now, this is where these videos get hard because what's my number one thing for five years now has been this hybrid human issue. And people think it's a joke. And part of the disinformation campaign is, is to make it a joke, dumb it down. That, that it, no, there is, there is not a group that constantly, but all their activities have to remain secret, but they're running around causing problems only for certain individuals, though, folks. So I'm starting to ramble and get off track, but the point is, is that social media, while, yes, it's one way, it's a tool to try to connect with others, we know that the people that need to be getting connected, they're are roadblocks put in their way. So what's one way of doing this? Let's say a satanic ritual abuse survivor wakes up and is not going to just sell out. And they're going to start running their mouth like me. 
Well, look what happened, folks, on YouTube. I got flooded. I was surrounded by these phony so-called TIs, these, these uh, Hollywood hybrid hacks. All right? Yeah, hey, uh, I hate giving Zeph Daniel a hard time. But he, he's one of the original ones. I believe his story. But again, you, you, we're dealing with Satanists. They don't give up. They don't go away. They only regroup, plot, plan, and recruit. So Zeph, somewhere along the line, uh, went astray. But if you look at the people he was surrounded with, and they're pretending to be uh, the, the, you know, victims of this so-called targeting program, which was all nonsense, folks. Now, let's use another example. The infamous r and supercomputer, this remote neural monitoring system. One of the numbskulls, this, this uh, individual, Brian Too, who had been on YouTube since around 2013, he's one of the main ones that gave birth to this idea that they, ha they have this computer up and running and it can mind control whoever. It, it, it just, and look, of course, they would love to have that. And they've got something like that. But again, what can it, what's it really capable of? So, you know, they use this, this guy, Brian, and it, he surrounds himself with all these smarty pants that are connected to the CIA, connected. They're whistleblowers, Robert Duncan, all these, this Bill Binney, Binney character. There's such a long list that they lead you astray from what I've been saying all along. This all circles back to satanic ritual abuse. And if you feel you're being targeted, that you either have a Satanist in, in your midst or, or someone that controls your family or you have to start there. So the point is, is once you start speaking out about this, you're going to get resistance. You're going to be started to be surrounded with these jackals, these hyenas, who I call dopey comment perps. Now, I don't think I summed this up, this part of the video, the way I wanted to, but let's continue. So, there's a contingency plan with these social media platforms to have their agents counter the message of, of any, any individual that wants to go against this so-called New World Order Illuminati, uh, you know, business. Once, you, once you, you step out of line, there's going to be someone right there to try to rope you back in. And they can do that. You see that. People start out with good intentions, but they can't take the heat. So on YouTube, I've literally become the most censored person over there. Now, can I prove that? But it's impossible. Now, this is why I'm doing this video, because I am the only one that can show these anomalies on my personal videos. Now, you have groups out there for decades that have been claiming uh, we'll use MUFON as one, one example. You know, the whole alien conundrum, UFOs, all that. But over all these decades, no one can really come up with any evidence or show anything like I've shown on, on social media now for five years. And this is all, all directly related to my satanic ritual abuse and my experiment, MKUltra experimentation as a kid, as a teenager. Between the years of 1980 and 83, this infamous, infamous Montauk project, which the main myth is that there's millions of uh, people out there that were affected by this. But that means there would have been millions of parents that what? They handed these, these uh, boys, and let's not forget about you know the women out there that suffered, but these 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 boys that were what they just were handed over or what they were kidnapped they were alien abducted do you see how how crazy this can get so try to summarize and keep things in focus the point is i am putting up evidence now year after year uh, month after month week after week day after day that no one can produce themselves but yet you have people making money hand over fist 
off this whole conspiracy theory business, the whole alien conundrum, UFOs, and people pretending to be me and some of these dead children, their stories, they're the ones that couldn't make it. I'm no, I'm no one special, people. I just survived this bullshit. There's a stack of bodies somewhere, and these Satanists know about it. And that's why they have to cover their tracks. Uh, it, it's, it's an ongoing daily operation doing this. Because what I come to figure out is, well, yeah, they must have did a number on me. And I didn't really wake up until my 40s. You know, I'm 55. I woke up 100% back in 2012 when I learned about my family history, them coming from Bavaria. But the point is, these vague testimonies and the lack of evidence. Now, let's look at Coast to Coast, all right? I listened to Art Bell in the mid-90s. I knew about Bill Cooper, but I had no clue about my involvement in MKUltra. You know, whatever was done to me had worked. As far as, you know, whether it was, obviously, if you were part of that, the original, meaning it, I, I pray for people that were in the 50s because they suffered horribly. But what I set out on my mission back in 2016 is to find people in my age group, males, I came up empty-handed. Now, I've always said younger people have got something going on, but it's not the remote neural monitoring system or these EMF broadcasts, all right? So the thing of it is, in 1965, it's when they exhausted their, I guess, experimentation with drugs and everything. And that's when they, they, they switched to figuring out how electromagnetic energy interacts with the brain, all that. Dr. Jose Delgado, that's how these implants got in me. So there's a delineation, and the people that were from the original MK Ultra, which would be 10 years older than me, I, they're, they're all but gone because they would have been treated horribly and they would have, just like I've been, denied medical help, trying to cover up one cover up after another concerning these implants. All right. The best they can do is, is now it's a seven year old stolen car entrapment scheme. It's a fucking joke. It's a vaudeville act. Now, again, I got to remain calm, cool and collective, folks, because I want to get back to this last bit shoot video I put up concerning what was I doing? OK, I'm in Mexico. I where I stay at is a very remote location. I try to social distance from these Satanists. They have a gang stalking gigantic perp army down here in Rosarito Beach, Mexico that, you know, in the beginning 2016, yeah, they were really hot and heavy. They've kind of tapered off a little bit, but it, it's still they're they're just they're out there lurking in the shadows. So I I, keep, I mind my own business. I stick to myself. What they try to do, the minute I, I start walking around testifying the power of Christ in my life, all right, not the children of men, <coughs> they need to get to these people. They figure out who I'm talking to, and when they can, they go in there. And it works sometimes, because some of them, I'll, I'll see them, uh, you know, a second time, and they will run away from me. It's like, okay, they must have got to them. So... With these videos I put up, just like YouTube, bit shoot is worse. You get these dopey bit shoot comment perps. And I, I don't know, you know, a lot of these are just nameless, faceless nobodies, I guess. Now let's look in particular this Golden Knight uh, individual. He's shown up on quite a few of my videos with his disparaging, uh, you know, rude comments. And... Here's one from, what, a week ago. Dopey idiot religtard posts a video asking to be trolled because he's too stupid and arrogant to understand his egotism. Now, again, folks, I don't get paid to do this. Uh, my time is short. I act with a sense of urgency. And when I put up these anomaly videos and I can't find anybody that can explain this the way I do or have the connections I have... And the testimony I have, all right, then uh, maybe, you know, hey, again, I try to approach this with an open mind, 
But, you know, hey, look, they're pushing my buttons every day, so it's hard to be humble, folks. So who is this person, this nameless, faceless, bitch shoot, dopey comment perp? Does he understand that I don't subscribe to a religion? All right? I believe that there is a personal relationship between the Almighty Creator and any individual that seeks them out. Now, in my case, I five years ago, I had blood pouring out of my mouth from these implants. They got tracking implants in my teeth. And, and who knows? They're all in my body. And... I'd already been to the San Diego Veterans Hospital back in 2012 and 13, and they went into damage control mode, doctoring up progress notes, trying to make me look crazy. But here I am, you know, almost what now, 10 years later, none of their, none of their little schemes work to shut me up. So what they do is they have to send these assholes like Golden Knight. Now, I don't even know him. I've got no axe to grind with this guy. But it's not arrogance or egotism. I'm trying to put up uh, proof that, look, there's, there's a, a, a demonic realm, a spiritual realm that, that is in play, in force. And whatever they did, meaning these American Nazi reptoids, as it relates to whatever, time travel, CERN, they somehow have collapsed the outer dimension into ours and that's why these anomalies are occurring but why are they only occurring around certain individuals now early on these idiots on YouTube tried to like uh, Richard Bruce let's use him as an example right he has helicopters chasing him all over LA right so he claims that that's part of his targeting but look we've all we all know where, where Richard's coming from now okay we have to remember it's 2021. There is no more targeted individual community. But they would try to pretend that, oh yeah, oh, these flyovers. But right now in 2021, I am the only one on social media that can show these flyovers and what goes on. So again, Golden Knight, you know, I don't get where you're coming from. Who are you? Okay? I'm going to be dead soon. I got no axe to grind with any of you people. But when I see you phonies, and I'm, the, I'm the, the survivor, the satanic ritual abuse survivor, and trust me, there, there are, are individuals out there that might be so beat down that they can't get on the internet. Do you see what I'm saying, folks? And there's no, uh, with the phonies too, there's no sense of urgency, nothing. So let's go to the next one. Uh, a religion plagued with pedophiles. Well, last I checked, it's the Catholic religion that has the problem, not the Christians. Now, Christians, yeah, they have problems because they're brainwashed, okay? So, this in itself, I, whatever, Whitey McWhiteness, that, again, where do they dredge these people up and how do they find me? Now, Lazarus 76, imagine worshiping a Jewish-controlled opposition lie. Moron. What is the Jewish-controlled opposition lie? What? That Jesus Christ walked the earth, and through him your sins are washed away f f uh, by the blood of the Lamb? Do you, come on, people. See, I, I thought I would have got on social media and met met individuals that I would become friends with. They would help me with some of the issues I have, but none of, none of, none of these individuals seem to have the problems I have. Now, with that being said, I, I know there's just countless number of men and women trying to expose what's wrong with the world today. But Again, is there a sense of urgency? And then do they have a comfort level that they think they could just come on social media that this, let's say, let's say this whole mysterious government targeted uh, machine, all right, is unleashed on them. How will they behave if behavior is only changed by perception and you still think, oh, I'm going to work. I got paychecks rolling in. I can go to the bank because I got an ATM card. And I got my vaccine now, and everything's hunky-dory. 
and there is no tribulation. There's no such things as as these uh, so-called satanic ritual abuse survivors, which are drying up, folks. I believe that, hey, there's no more humans to sacrifice. We've all, the, look, we've been mongrelized through this hybrid breeding program. Now, again, I'm, I'm, I don't say this. I don't have any factual knowledge of the hybrid breeding program. But what's this shape-shifting all about, which is really electromagnetic distortion that comes off certain individuals? When you watch the video, everything in the video, the inanimate objects are just fine, but the individual's getting all whacked out. How do you Hollywood hybrid hacks explain that? Let's go on to the next one, all right? I wish all these people well, okay? Now, okay, this concerns the last video. Now, Rock Spoon, that's called a jet airplane, you stupid fuck. <laughs> but here, the best part is this Savior Sin Eater. You, you are a fucking moron. Learn what lens reflections are if you're going to use a camera. How the hell are some people this fucking stupid? You are just as dumb as those idiots claiming that there were two sons a couple years ago. Now look, see, these people play right into my hands, and I'm going to show you how. I don't, I don't need to leave you. Uh, let's let's just say you're a well-intentioned uh, individual, but when I see these type of comments, I don't have to leave them on my channel because you prove nothing. That you're what? That you're just an angry, angry young individual sitting somewhere jerking off in your mommy's basement on your laptop? And uh, what? Do you work for Alex Jones? Do you work for Uncle Carl and George Bush, the, the group that took over for those Satanists? Uh, do you know what I mean? So Save Your Sin Eater says, What fucking coward moron? You seriously wipe the comment section because you can't handle criticism of your stupidity. And what do I do? I want to find out who's a bot, who's real. So here I am, right there. There you are. Don't worry. I'll do a breakdown of what your dumb ass is looking at. So stay tuned, smart ass. So what? So he, this is a, a real person, I, I assume. He comes back. It's a fucking lens reflection. There are two lenses in a camera. And what you are seeing is the sun reflected off the inner lens. Learn what the hell you're talking about. Oh, and clean up your fucking house. Well, one, there's no house. Uh, I'm practically homeless in Mexico, dodging death each day. But you know what? As I walk around Rosarito Beach with duct tape on my shoes and witness to these people now, six years in running, some of them, some of them actually listened, and some of them, I got them to think. And you know what? Every step away, these cowardly, sad sack Satanists that stem from Uncle Carl and George Bush that are camped out down here, spending tens of thousands of dollars, uh, who knows, weekly, monthly, just on little old me to try to keep, keep my mouth shut. And it's not working, folks. So the point is, let's, let's, let's at least... Let's school savior sin eater, whoever this individual is. And we're going to show him something right now, folks. <clears throat> okay, I've, I want to throw this out there too. So if you, I've done this video already years ago. If you want to figure out the, the, the total impact on who may or may not have been involved in MK Ultra, there's a way of doing this. Now... We all know Richie from Boston, or maybe we don't. He always claims that he's so proud that he's gone over all the white papers of, of them with their predictive programming and, and the Satanists telling us what they're going to do. Well, okay, in my age group, the year I was born in 1966, I was curious on how many people could have possibly been impa impacted by this MK Ultra. So one way I was able to do that is go to this Department of Health government statistic chart. And because I was born in Washington, D.C., which is District of Columbia, I go there. Now, I know you can't see this, but I went to the individual chart. And in District of Columbia, 
there were 28,658 individuals born, all right, in the year 1966. And then they break it down by race, male, female, white, black. And you'd be shocked that out of those 20, 28,000 plus, only 3,600 were white males, okay? So I just want to throw that out there. I have done my research, and it just there's certain things that I just won't bother with because I'm on limited amount of time, and there is a sense of urgency. So let's get to this video breakdown real quick. Okay, let's... Okay, this, this is the video that these well-intentioned video uh, individuals were mocking me about. Now, Friday, 8.30 in the morning, meaning last Friday, okay, today's Monday, the 18th. Now, I was walking off trying to find somebody that could maybe give me some work. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Now, first thing I do when I examine my videos is I open up to the first frame and I see if something's in there. Right there is the so-called jet plane. But what is this? What is that little white dot up in the sky that actually is in all my videos going all the way back? I've documented this since 2016. It's one of five distinct anomalies that occur in my videos. And nobody, nobody can show this. Some people get the flyovers. I see some of them get the alien insectoids, but this particular anomaly. So look, what we discover is, and I'm claiming that these are fallen angels. You see a couple down here, but watch how this works. What I'm going to do is I want you to keep your eye right down here. Now watch this. Well, okay. I want to get this. You can see other ones. Whoops. There we go, folks. Hang on. It's a low budget positive Paul production. Now you see that white thing. Is it showing up? It's back above the plane. Okay. There's other ones. There's another one, but it's not. You can't see it real clear. But let's. There we go. Okay. See, right. Right here where my finger is. Look at that. Okay. Now, I'm trying to be nice here, folks. Remember, I've got no axe to grind with any of you. I'm going to be long gone. So, you know, take this for what it's worth. So, right there. There's three of them. Okay. Now, let's look at the video. Okay, there I am. That was an alien insectoid. It's a high wind event. But what we're going to do, okay, look. You see the, the, the phone go blurry. But right here, folks, now watch this. Okay. Pay attention. Now, that's, whoops, there's your lens flare. Now, Again, with these white things going in and out of the sun, do you see that? Right there they are. But what I'm concerned about is this. Right there. You see that? What that is is an anti-gravity craft. Now, let me choose my words carefully. For the individual that's mocking me, and says this is uh, the inner lens. Well, first off, I'm using an iPhone 7, and there is no inner lens, all right? There is no double lens on an iPhone 7. Now, furthermore, this individual says that's the lens flare from the, you know, the second lens that's not even in my phone, for one. But why does it... It's there, and it's not there, okay? And these other little white anomalies are buzzing around right there, clear as day, by my finger. 
So the point is, folks, I'm presenting this information and telling you I'm a satanic ritual abuse survivor put through the original MK Ultra. I'm loaded down with implants that are rotting in my body. And what, you jokers think Trump is actually going to save the republic? Make America great again? Please, people. For the millionth time, he's one of Uncle Carl and George Bush's lackeys. All right? He might be a Satanist light, but he's just like them. But let's look at the... Oh, there we go. See? These dopes. These slippery, slimy, sleazy super soldiers in Montauk. So all they do is they jump ship off YouTube because I'm on their case. And I'm not going away until I die. So they just switch over wherever and continue their mealy mouth garbage.